Hi again, this is Dr. Atal Lasha, Associate Professor of Finance at the Institute of Management Sciences, Peshawar. This is a part of a series where I show how to use ASDoc for creating tables from Stata output in MS Word. In this quick tutorial, I'd like to show how to use ASDoc for creating a table of correlation. Let us load the uh, system uh, file sysuse auto and if we want to estimate correlation between uh, these variables so the stata command is to type cor now this is a table of correlation and if you want to export this table to uh, to ms word we need to just type as doc in front of the uh, rest of the command so it creates a new file with my file.doc name and if we open this file uh, the table of correlation is created very nicely formatted table of correlation uh, if we look at the table headers the default style is to have numbers for all the variable this is done to save space but if we need the variable names instead of numbers so uh, we can again type this command this time with um, additional option of no number so no number option will do that and we will also use replace to replace the existing file my file.doc now let us open the file again and see uh, the, so we can see that the uh, column titles are now uh, they, they, they represent the variable names uh, in the first column we have variable names suppose we want the variable labels so uh, we shall type uh, I'll remove no num and I'll add label so this will uh, report the variable labels instead of the variable names these are the variable uh, labels uh, there is also a possibility to report significance level uh, with all these uh, correlation coefficient the stata command for reporting significance is pairwise correlation pw uh, c o double r and this time we will add the star option star and if you want to report the correlation at first percent one percent significance level now we have a nicely formatted table of correlation with the significance level and sometime if the page width is less than the size of the table we will click inside the table go to layout and we shall out of it content uh, now this somehow distorts the uh, presentation of the table so we have one more option is to uh, change the page layout so we go to layout and the orientation if we change it to landscape now we have the required one more option is that if we want to have less decimal point that will also save some space so instead of three decimal points if we um, ask for two decimal points uh, that will also solve the problem for example if i type dec2 so it will again estimate the command uh, and now the decimal points are two so instead of changing the layout of it and changing to orientation landscape still we can accommodate the variables for more videos and blog entries please do visit our website fintechprofessor.com thanks for watching and have a great day